Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm happy about that. So thank you so, so much. Woo! Yes, baby! Oh, snap! I thought my video's off. Um, <laughs> Chris! Chris! Oh, gosh. Hello! Mm. Hey, dude! Bye. We live! We Again. live! Oh, man! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, sorry, I didn't know it's that time already. Um, okay, well, anyway, here we well, are. Well, I fixed my hair. Can you play the intro? Yeah, no, because we don't have one yet. Um, Didn't you do it? Just, no, you were supposed to, Chris. Again? You know. They won't notice. Okay, move on. Say well, intro the you show. Know what? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Anyway, okay. yabba dabba do happy Friday to you. Yeah, man. Welcome to the first show. I am Janine and my co host, Chris Colby. Hello. That is him, ladies and gents. So welcome once again. We're awesome, awesome, and so excited to have you on board and listening to us today. There's so much things happening in the world and especially with us. Sorry, Chris, can you just quickly tell the people what the F stands for, for FBiz? It's fun business show because it's a fr 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 Friday and we have fun Ooh, on the show. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. I yeah, almost I like lost your my hair. crown. I would have when been did so you have sad. your hair done? Did you have your hair done, especially for the show? I know, right? And it's so amazing that we're so like matchy matchy. I know, right? I thought this look would would do me good, sort of like a failed seventies pop star. Yeah, you you're rocking it. I'm just you're grateful. It. Who knew a wig would be so nice and warm and toasty? It's absolutely freezing here. I had hail just oh. now. There's snow in the mountains right here by me. So I put. I've got this wig on and actually I'm nice and warm and toasty for a change. Well, I know the feeling. I really, really do. Anywho, so Chris, with today's show, very excited. And um, we're going to be sharing so many things. We're going to be sharing some stats around the virtual assistant world. And, and I think you're going to talk about some marketing trends, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, very, very excited. And then, of course, we have this beautiful human called Linda Dent from Just Ask Linda that we're going to interview later. I'm so excited about that. We're going to pee with glee. Oh, ooh, yes, yes. Lots of pee with yep. glee. Yay. Hold on thank to please. your seats ladies because this is going to be epic anyway i have a just, question um, for you janine yes chris how many marketers does it take to screw in a light bulb i'll wait for the answer <laughs> none they've automated it oh well done well done i'll i'll give you that that was i'm that here was for good. the next 45 minutes or so Absolutely. I'm so glad I'm not going to be alone for that long. Okay, so <laughs> just a quick one. There's a big event happening. Well, quite a few in September. Can you believe we're in September? I mean, like Almost, in yeah. what, three, three, four days, then we're in September. Absolutely crazy. But with that said, we've got two amazing events happening. We've got the Explore Van, that's a virtual assistant network that's happening on the 30th of September. And then listen to this, the wait, global wait, wait, online. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. you're launching. I'm the launching, didn't I say that? No, you didn't tell me. Awesome. <laughs> That's a big celebration. I, just, I literally Making just told you. September. Okay. Awesome. So I virtual assistants need to contact you to be there for the launch on the 30th of September for Explore Van, which is like a business network just for virtual assistants getting together. That's it. I am so, so pumped for that event. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's where people are going to socialize, learn, share, and really just engage with other virtual assistants. It is going to be an epic, epic show. And there's also going to be an awesome guest speaker. But I'm not going to share that with you yet. So, Actually, <laughs> on the group, Jock, our new member, oh, my hair keeps trying to get in my mouth. It wants me to eat it. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so Jack uh, put on the group such a cool thing. It's a meme of uh, PA going, oh, I have so much to do in so little time. And virtual assistants going, yes, hold my beer. And that's very true. That's that's how, how you guys do. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that. But um, I'm not going to now 
my own horn here. So the next event is, of course, the Global Online Speed Networking event. That is going to be on the 23rd of September, which is a Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. GMT plus two. Give me a second. We're very professional here. Very, yeah. very professional. Where's the whole? Yeah, well whole done, whole. Chris. This is fantastic. Anyway, well, Chris is trying to to find out what and where. Can you hear us now, Chris? Chris? I'm back. I'm oh, plugged in. That's fantastic. I'm so glad that you plugged in. This is fantastic. So just a quick one. Um, squirrel. Did you see him? That was a big one. They're getting bigger these days. It's amazing. Someone is feeding these bloody things. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, so just a quick, why do people really eat snails? It's nice, it's cargo. It is French, it is beautiful. You have to Not put a lot of garlic with it so you can't taste the snail. Ah, uh, well, the real reason is because they don't really like fast foods. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, you got me on that one. Yeah, snails, okay. yeah, anyway, wow. yeah um so 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 should we give some useful information like um what's happening yeah. in in the industries like your industry and my industry i think it's a good idea i think it's a really good idea so do you want me to start um do you want to prep quickly while i do my side and what do you want to do ladies first ladies oh, first ladies always first man. look at you what do you want chris what do you want okay i'll ask you later but anyway, one million dollars Ooh, we could do so many things with that. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Anyway, I anyway. Know. Okay. So, well, just a quick one. Did you know that the virtual assistant network or the, the virtual assistant community, if you want to call it that, do you know the value it was in 2020? Do you have an idea? One million dollars. <laughs> well, no. It uh, was actually 5.82 billion us dollars that was the wow. worth for the virtual that is like a lot that's like a 70 11 22 billion rands thing 0.560 absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely but now the interesting stat that i actually want to put out there is that they say and i don't know who these they are but they they're very clever people they say that the growth of the virtual assistant community will be growing with 28.67% between now and 2025. That's a big sure. percentage. It is. And, it, you know, it, as part of the work that I do is doing a lot of market research and seeing which industries are growing and actually thriving in this. And the virtual assistant um, industry is actually, you can see it every day, it is growing exponentially all the time it's it's one of those almost newish careers that, that's come out it's been a while around for a while but it's really caught on now and you can see in every day it's just growing and growing and growing yeah it's growing all over the globe and um you know it's time for people to realize that they they really need a virtual assistant to grow their businesses and um, i think that was just a really really interesting stat um around around that um, so, Chris, do you maybe want to share one of your trends in the markets? I have lots and lots of trends, very, very big trends. But it, just on that note, I mean, with, with, with the industry growing so big and there's a lot of people who are starting out or have been a virtual assistant for a while, but they're looking to connect with other people, find their, their groove, find a little bit of direction, somebody that they can share their thoughts and feelings with um and just grow as a community there is like you said explore van launching on the 30th of september contact the amazing janine who's still a freak who likes doing cold calling and things like that but she's setting it up and putting it all together so it's a great uh, opportunity for you guys to all band together as a community and build things and i really think it's a, such an awesome awesome thing to be doing and uh yeah so contact janine i'm sure the details are down below Nastine. Please put the details below. She did already. Look at that. She's like on, on top, top of, of, of it today. She's yeah. she's on top. Yeah, she's she's on amazing. fire. Okay, excuse me while I just cough a lung out. <laughs> right, Are I'm you back. Okay there? Yeah, I know. Hey, I'm I'm on top form today as well. Hey, really well doing done. well. You can feel the okay, energy. Like 
and the and the, the the germs climbing through the laptop but anyway so some trends i've only picked five this time oh, five or six i can't count right now but these are five trends that are to look out for for the rest of what is 2021 going into early 2022 the and some of them are actually quite complicated i didn't even i'll be honest i hadn't really heard of or thought of these things so i hope this is actually of use to you so social audio so audio branding is a big thing i love audio that's what i'm all about and um especially when my voice you know is doing so well and, and just melts butter at the moment um so do you remember back in the 90s there were those chat rooms that you went into and you could just go into a blind chat room there was no video but you just spoke yeah 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 okay well yeah. those kind of just went away but they're making a return so social audio so you have social media now social audio is going to be the next big thing so there's this new app called clubhouse it's only in its beta version but it's got over 10 million users already and social media networks don't want to be left out of this game so they're um launching new features to catch on to it so twitter has launched its social social audio feature called spaces telegram introduced voice chats 2.0 and spotify has launched green room and facebook is doing live audio rooms that are starting to roll out so there you go. There's an opportunity. Get into to audio if you've been, and I think that comes on the wake of podcasts and the the mm. um, the the um, popularity and growing popularity of podcasts and how to make it more accessible and consumable um, across your social media platform. So there you go. I bet you didn't know that. You learned something new with that one. Marketing automation, hence my joke earlier. That's going to be, a, that's a big one moving forward. People are automating as much as they possibly can. So they can do more and increase capacity. Then do you know what a micro moment is as a marketing trend? I do not. Please share that information, Chris. I'll be straightforward and honest. I've been working in marketing for a very long time and I'd never really heard of this concept. So here we go. We all learn together. Um, so micro moments are basically when it's a very directed thing and focused on like crucial uh, want to know, want to go, want to do, want to buy moments. So like, you know, if you get a PDF and somebody signs on it, that's a micro moment because it's one person that you said something to and they did one specific action that was your, your outcome. So what they're doing and now knowing that it makes a lot more sense. So instead of going on a mass marketing approach where you're trying to get to 10,000 users or whatever to see what you're doing, you, you're giving them a short impactful task completion something to a direct individual to get it back, which is far more um, powerful and has a higher conversion rate. So focus on your micro moments for the rest of the year. And you can say, thank you, Chris, for teaching you something. The next one is exactly what we're doing right now. It's conversational marketing. So gone are the days of really good advertising campaigns and creative stuff. What people are looking for is a genuine, authentic connection with brands and companies. And that falls under that conversational marketing where you're creating the opportunity for open conversations that are authentic and not just telling a story or sharing who you are and what you sell, but actually getting to know your customers and your consumers and your potential market and having a conversation with them. So be more conversational. I like that. That is exactly it. You need to communicate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Funny that in marketing, you need to communicate. I mean, who would have thought? And communicate in real terms, in authentic ways that are truthful. Wow, what a completely novel concept. We had to and wait till 2021 to figure that one out. Wow. Yeah. And actually, now that we've gone all sarcastic, this one kind of deflates a little bit as the last one I wanted to go with, which is marketing um, or brand differentiation. Um, so there's a lot of noise out there. So through your micro moments and your social audio and your conversational marketing, you get to differentiate your brand because that's the big thing. There's so much noise out there and everybody's very similar. So differentiate yourself. Be different to everybody else. Exactly. Who would have thought? Wear it to your bad. every these, day. Right? I was excited about these in, these um, complex marketing things. And now that we've gone through them and spoken about them, we're a bit like, duh. 
But anyway, at least we shared it with you. I hope you got something useful from that. Yeah, I think yes. it was great, great insight. Really great insight. Communicate okay. and stand out. Be different. So I, I have one last one to share with you, considering uh, Nastine, the producer, is uh, an accountant. And we were talking about complex accounting things before the show. Oh, I've got two stories. And then I'll, I'll be quiet and you can introduce our guest, Linda Dent. We're going to pee with Glee. But um, so for, for Nastine, this one, especially for you, why did the CEO drop a, uh, when the CEO dropped a brownie on his calculator, he was accused <laughs> of fudging the numbers. <laughs> oh, Chris. Last funny story. So um, just the sidebar, obviously we do actually put a bit of effort into the show and prep work and we meet just beforehand. We had the most amazing experience. So here we're sitting, prepping for the show. We got our wigs on, look absolutely ridiculous, having the weirdest conversation. And somebody jumped in on the meeting because the meetings were double booked. And I just loved her response, Leanne, you are a legend. She was just like, oh, okay, what are we doing now? Um, I'm here for a meeting, but there's these weirdos with wigs on having funny conversations. Okay, let's do this meeting. I don't know what we're doing. That's got to be the funny. I wish we'd recorded that because that's I probably one that. of the funniest Zoom intro, in, like landing in a Zoom meeting kind of experiences in the world. Absolutely. I really wish I knew what she was thinking because she had such a poker face and she was just like, yeah, I'm in. What's this all about? I'd love it. Leanne, you're a rock star. <laughs> Absolute legend. Okay, so I'm going to cough for a bit. You you do your part and introduce our awesome guest for today. And I'll think of yes. new words for her as well. Yes, now of course. But before I introduce her, I have I have one for the for, for, for you listeners. So just a quick one. What kind of shoes does a thief wear? A thief. Yeah, a thief. Okay, fine. I'll tell you, Chris. You're not going to get it. Look at your face. It's sneakers. Sneakers. sneakers no you're sneaky it's i'm still sneaky. reeling i'm still reeling of look at your face chris the hamster is struggling today he keeps hop <laughs> hopping off the wheel every now and again and tries to take a nappy nap oh, and i have to keep wow. saying to nobody back on the wheel we got things to do absolutely well i'm glad that you're back on the wheel so ladies and gents put your hands together because now it is time for amazing linda dent from just ask linda business coaching so listen to what she has to say today she i, I just have the first question already and i cannot wait for the answer but anyway linda welcome to the fb show yay isn't she Hello. a brave lady? We just say, come to our crazy show. And she's like, okay, I'll be there. I know, right? She, she really actually just fits right in. I agree. So you had a first question. Go for it. I do. I do. So Linda, thank you again for, for being here today. So we've been talking and dropping this word and this, this like saying, P with glee. Can you please take us all out of our mystery and tell us what that is? Out of your mystery, of course. Yes. <laughs> Misery. Hello. Hello. Misery. People. <laughs> People. Are we busy podcasting this thing? Yes, it's live. Oh, good. Chris. And, and you got to, you got to just speak up. Don't <laughs> don't don't be polite. Like if we're just talking and you want to say something, just carry on. We'll, oh, we'll eventually yeah. keep quiet. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we we awesome. tend to do that. Um, could you repeat that question, Janine? So P with Glee, what, please explain to us what that is, because we are going bananas oh. and we really need to know what it is. No, no bananas, only peas today, all right? Those little <laughs> green things, those little green things up in the corner. Well, wow, that's um, it's quite a story, Janine. Thank you for asking. And it all started, would you believe, one year ago at the very first global online speed networking event that Explore ProTech put on. And I went to Nestine's training course. I don't know if she still does that or if she just throws people in the deep end these days. But I went to a training course and she said, you have to stand out in the Zoom rooms, right? You have to say something about your business to stand out and get noticed. So I was thinking and thinking and then I came up with this P with glee because I think everyone knows I have a glee jar, right? Yeah. So P rhymes with glee. 
So um, I go into the first Zoom room in the speed networking event and uh, somebody says like, uh, hello, introduce yourself. So I said, well, I'm Linda Dent from Just Ask Linda Business Coaching and I help my clients to pee with glee. This is not the pee you were thinking of, but the little green vegetables. And P is an acronym which stands for plan, energize, and act. Ah. That, that's like awesome. I love the story as well behind that. And it's kind of what we just said now, Chris, is you have to stand out. Exactly. Exactly. And you've got to differentiate and be different and have peas. Let them have peas. Maybe that should have been the same. Um, so, so, so take us, I mean, you're, you're a business coach, Linda, and that's what you do. Um, and you've, it seems like you've created almost like a system around this uh, concept to make yourself stand out as P with glee. So we understand, we've heard the acronym, but what's, what's all behind it? Where do you take people with it? Well, Chris, I've done, as you know, I've done some, um, some, blog posts and LinkedIn, Facebook posts around the acronym P. And every time I come up with different P's, so I'm starting to create a bag of P's, right? Not just a single P or not just a P pod, but a bag of P's. And it's things like even planet, environment, um, activism, you know? So uh, that seems a little bit left field for a business coach, but it, it actually is something that I care about, right? And I want to ensure that the things that I care about um, are also the things that the people I work with and hang out with care about, um, because that's how we share values and we and we come to the same um, same conclusions. But the, the plan, uh, energize, act is the key one, uh, because as a business coach, um, I look forward to long term relationships with business owners usually who are in business for two to three years and they want to grow their business uh, bigger. They want to grow like the pea pods, right? And I can take them through those steps of planning. The energize, clearly you need some energy if you're going to uh, succeed as a business owner. So there's a lot of um, cheerleading going on as a coach as well. Keeping, mm -hmm. and the last one, obviously act. If, if you don't, do anything if you don't write down or uh, you know schedule activities then nothing will actually happen so the plan energize act is the is the key sort of focus of my coaching but there's so much more that's very cool and you mentioned your 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 glee jar what is what is the glee jar for to put pee in <laughs> in this case there's no peas there's just uh. a little Colorful pieces of paper in here, little pieces of paper, and a little smiley face on my Glee jar. Um, so Glee is another acronym. You can see I like acronyms, hey guys. Um, yeah. Grow, learn, empower others, and enjoy. And that's my personal philosophy in life. Everything I do conforms to that acronym. Uh, always has, even from, if I look back, even as a young girl and a young lady and an older lady and now me now, um, it's always been what I strive for. And I, I find that sharing those stories and lessons um, and experiences with, with other small businesses has been of real value to them. Oh, but the little pieces of paper, I forgot. Yeah, the little... <laughs> yeah, so what do we put in the, the jar know. that we know oh, what the jar is about? But what goes in the jar? Yeah, What's in the jar? What's in the jar? So inside the jar are pieces of paper, right? And, and there's lots of these pieces of paper. Okay. And on them, it says that the, this, there's a date and... There's something that uh, went really well. It's like those wins. You know, we talk about celebrating the small wins. So for me, it is, it's like the small peas. You don't need a huge success to celebrate. So I just picked one up randomly and it says, uh, on the 4th of August, I successfully delivered a speech at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, North Carolina, USA, entitled Mentoring is Questioning. 
and that was a good time. Yeah. So, I yeah. like that a lot. It's so it's cool. like it's like the gems through your through your entrepreneurial journey, right? That you yeah. like capture yeah. and I like that. That's really cool. Here's another one. What's this other one say? Um this one says fifth of August, so the day after. New client. Yay. That's fantastic. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm so excited. I could pee. But that's really cool because um, if you're having a bit of a, a downer and yeah. you you need to pick me up, you just put those out on the table like you've done now. It's actually funny watching the process. I'm loving this because <laughs> Linda's been all serious and Linda's always very serious and, and got a very um, business face going. And then she opens a couple of them. She's gotten completely distracted in our interview we're, because we're now she's so excited to read all of them. I want to read all of them. That's great. And there's one. a big smile. I've got yes, one. It's, a, it's such an awesome capture. Oh, here we go. One. Tell us, tell us. This is a relevant one. Okay. 9th of August. Enjoyable Woman's Day. Hi to you with Rita Janine. Um, who's that now? What's that name? Somebody else and Explore ProTech. I <laughs> a pee with glee presentation for fun how's that there we go there we go and that's somebody See, else that's probably you chris <laughs> I, I wasn't there I, I i was in the background lurking oh but that is hilarious okay i love that because i want to show you my my jaw can i show you my jaw <laughs> oh so this is enough. actually this is a money no i'm i'm going to change what i do because i've chatted to you <laughs> so this is what i call my f bucket I can't say it on. Okay. So if something irritates me or I'm upset with something, I write it down and go fun it. And I put it in the, in the can and then it's gone and it's disappeared. And I never have to look at it again, but I think I must get another jar and put a glee jar next to it. So then I can yes. do an F deposit and then do a and glee, glee withdrawal. Withdrawal, withdrawal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, can I share you mine? I have to share you mine. So mine is this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's a cactus. It's a cactus. You oh, quite cactus. Like it. You've got because a cactus on your desk. Cactus. So okay. yeah, so it's got a little thingy and I can put my thingies in there, but I'm always in the cactus. So yeah, <laughs> it's interesting how we all have our own little I love it. Cactus. Jean, what thingies are you putting in your thingies? You know what, Chris? Just a lot of thingies. Okay. Good thingies or bad thingies? Yeah. It's not pea stuff. It's not pea stuff. It's the other one that, on uh, the other side. Yeah. Uh, okay. Peace. Peace out. Yes, oh, Linda. I've got a joke. Oh, I Ooh. love jokes. I love to laugh. <laughs> laugh is so much fun. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's sort of a joke. I'm really bad at jokes. But um, did you You're know? Did you know? Maybe? that human beings started out as peas. Pea size. Human beings started out as peas, right? That's why they, right? That's why they call us homo sapiens. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Very like good. I'm impressed. Linda, so if, if, if planet Earth is the third planet from the sun, does that mean that everybody is from a third world country? Hmm. Third world from the sun. <laughs> oh, really? Don't okay. worry. Don't I, worry. P happy. P That's happy. it. That's it. Like, well, I feel I've we've gone question. off track here. Yeah, let's yeah. Get, let's pull this back. Yeah. Let's get back. We on now track, know guys. about the P and the Glee, and we actually know what goes into the Glee jar, which is really great to share that information, Linda. So my question is, if people want to now get in contact with you, and what what is your full process for for someone who needs your services? Oh, okay. So those people. Yeah, they can they can get in touch with me um, in all sorts of ways, right? Uh, you can check me out on uh, my LinkedIn profile, Just Ask Linda, Facebook profile, Just Ask Linda, website, Just Ask Linda, YouTube channel, which I think is just Linda, um, but I, I need someone to help me sort that one out. Um, Linda at justasklinda.co.za. Yeah? Yeah. So, I think that you get hold of me, right? You want you you like what you you see or hear, 
and you want to find out more, then we will book a 45 minute to 60 minute discovery session, which is about getting to know you, right? It's for free. I don't charge for that. I just want to get to know you and I want you to get to know me. And at the end of that session, you'll go, I have to have Linda Dent from Just Ask Linda as my business coach for the rest of my life. And when you do that, then we'll go through all the uh, other sort of stuff where you need like a client contract and an invoice and, you know, sign up and then we'll start coaching sessions and coaching sessions are structured. Yes, for those people who are not unstructured, it's absolutely perfect for you, yet customized for the individual. So I get to know your strengths, right? It's one of the things I love. I, I want to know what your strengths are. Mm -hmm. um, but I can adapt my coaching style to suit you. But at the same time, if you are one of those sort of airy fairy, like uh, chasing, chasing, Squirrel. chasing, right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Squirrel people, then I help you to stay accountable and keep you to one hour of some sort of a structure and then actions that come out of that. And all of that is designed to systematically build a sustainable business that's right a sustainable one not not a short term you got here and gone into in two years like that shiny bubble so what i heard was just ask linda just ask linda when in doubt just ask linda just ask linda Google, yeah just ask linda and <laughs> um, hashtag just ask linda and wait i forgot it's just ask linda right there we yep. go yeah, that's amazing. Now, listen, people, you've seen the fun side of Linda, and I can tell you, you can see the seriousness when she's busy with the coaching. So please get in contact with Linda. You can hear she's amazing. She knows what she's talking about. And um, it's it's just ask Linda, right? Yeah, just, just ask Linda. Ask Linda. So we're we're way out of time, but I have one more question for Linda. Is, is Linda ready for it? Bring it on. Surprisingly, it's actually an intelligent question for a change. Um, so like we were talking a little bit earlier about the, the increasing in virtual assistant industry, there has been a marked increase in your business coaching arena. Um, and there, there's got to be a really good reason for that trend. Why would somebody need a business coach and why they're becoming, why is it becoming so popular and needed? Well, uh, for lots of reasons, I'll try and keep it. <laughs> <laughs> um let's you, you know that even the virtual assistant industry the marketing industry which are your two industries highly highly competitive right the economics which nestine in the background will understand lead to say that not everyone can succeed in that market some will prosper some will fail some will have to continue to reinvent themselves just to stay afloat, right? Mm. Do you want to be the failure? Do you want to just stay afloat? Or would you like to rise to the top and sail on to your desired destination? If that's your case, you need somebody. I don't say it's me or a business coach necessarily. It could be, um, you know, it could be your father-in-law. It could be uh, an accountant, it could be a banker, perhaps, you know, but it's someone or someone in your field that could be a mentor. So you require someone who's going to guide you on this journey. It's a journey, right? I'm a small business owner. It's the most amazing journey I have ever, ever been on and I'm still on and it will never stop because of all the people that you meet along the way. But what is great is having people on your side and people who will motivate you mentor you, advise you, coach you, you can consult with them if you've got something difficult that's going on and they have your best interests at heart, even though we get paid, right? But <laughs> got your best interests at heart um, to see that you are the one that succeeds in that industry you're in. That's my best. Um, ex wow. wow. Yeah. And look, I mean, <coughs> going to die quickly on the side um that was so profound it made me um cough but anyway but what as it long also as you don't boils, 
Yeah, yeah no, no. Herpy. Uh, unless um, it's with glee. Unless it's with glee. Unless Every it's morning, glee. seven o'clock. Um, so, uh, wow, that was TMI. Too much info, Chris. But what, what I was saying is, is things are really crazy. And that's why we did the show, is just to bring the light of fun side of, of business. But it, it is like that. And, and we're in such unprecedented times. And that's also why there's such a big need for business coaches, because a lot of companies are having to change their business models, their thinking, their economics, like you say, their marketing, their whole direction of their company. They have no idea where to go. And that's why it's important to get a mentor, like you said, or a business coach or somebody to help you guide the process. Because I was having a chat to somebody yesterday. I'm a marketer. That's what I'm good at. I can't do my own marketing. I suck at it. And there's a reason why, because I'm too close to my own business to be able to do it. You need that outside perspective to help you guide and find the way. On that point, for, for I've been doing this for three years now. Huh? Um, until recently, I did not have my own business coach. Hey, Until I sat and said, Linda, you are telling everyone they need a business coach. What about you? Mm. I one now. Ah, exactly. That's amazing. It makes, and it makes a difference in keeping me accountable to the actions that I've written down. And you know, I'm pretty good at following through on my actions. It's just my nature. But nevertheless, it's really useful to have somebody with a different perspective to mm share what I'm what my plans are and have them reflect back at you hold up a mirror and say but have you have you looked at this have you thought of that and I go oh no okay thank you <laughs> it's really useful and so there it is just ask Linda <laughs> just ask Linda just ask Linda just ask just Linda just, just ha ask hashtag Linda. just ask Linda maybe we should change the squirrel to just ask Linda um good idea Janine, we haven't we haven't dared you to do something yet. Are we going to dare you today? Because well, think... your rap last week was so was so um, good. Everybody's been asking for more. Are you, are you going to rap or rap the show? Well, are you going to wrap the show in a rap? <laughs> I'm going to wrap the show in the rap. That's it. Well, good save there for yeah. Well done. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Wrapped face on. All right. Build a business that funds your dreams. So start with P and end with Glee. Have a virtual cuppa with just ask Linda. Nice. You're getting good. You've been practicing, <laughs> haven't you? That's right. That's what I do. You know, as a, as an entrepreneur, you you rap. You rap. You got to rap. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll I'll practice my um um beatboxing and that's that's pretty much my energy tank gone for the entire day being sick so i think we need to say thank you to linda for joining us and being Absolutely. brave and being here just ask Absolutely. linda just ask her something just ask yeah. linda so uh, linda i just want to ask linda something so thank you once again for joining us on the fb show it was absolutely fun to have you you are such a gem and um wishing you all the best with your with your business and um yeah Fantastic to have you here. Thank you for having me here today. I really had a lot of fun. She used the F word. <laughs> fun. <laughs> okay. Anyway, All right. Yeah. We'll be back That's next week, good. Friday again. Same time, same That's place. Good. I'll be better and more energized and funnier. Um, I think, oh, question. If you want something on the show and want us to cover something or do something different, put a comment down below and we'll, we'll, we'll do it and we'll implement it. Absolutely. No, I think that's a great idea. Share with us so that we can share with you. You know, it's, it's all about the us and the we and the doing it together. So people, put your hands in the air like you just don't care and have a happy Friday dance. Thanks for watching. Wrapping it up. Cheers for ears.